Here I am down in the dirt, and let me tell you why. Me and my squad were rolling in a taiga, trying to hunt down a Humvee that had been called out. We found the Humvee, and the LAV he was teaming with, and we got demolished. Luckily, our medic survived and could revive some of us, and that's where this clip starts. So the first thing you'll see me do is to take out my mind, because I always think about what's the most likely threat we can encounter. And at this moment, I'm afraid that the LAV will come back and wipe us out. The only thing I can do to prevent this is to put down a mine and hope for the best. Okay, Tige, Fordon kommer tillbaks. Var beredda nu här. Lätt, 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 var beredda. My squad lead calls out that there's an enemy vehicle coming our way, so I take a quick peek on the map to evaluate the situation. I see that the rest of the survivors are bunched up in a place with little cover and are likely to die to LAV. And we have no rally. So I decide to run and hide and hopefully I can save my squad lead after the LAV has moved on and we will take it from there. I didn't get off the road in time and the enemy spotted me. So now I'm thinking that as long as I can keep them focused on me, my mates have a chance to do something. So I'm trying to keep them focusing on me by shooting towards them. With the enemy focused on me, my mates can kill the gunner with ease. And if you want to learn more about what you can do to help your squad as a solo player, you should check out Squad School Episode 5. Link is in the description. With the enemy gunner down, I'm free to move up and make sure no enemies can leave the vehicle to run away or place a rally. I now remember that I have a mine down to the west of the Humvee. And sometimes, players driving vehicles get stressed out and scared when they see enemies coming up towards the rear, and that can make them drive forward instead of backing away. I also wanted to try to climb up the back of the Humvee and shoot the driver through the hatchet. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> 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 Let this guy serve as an example. He thought that he was in complete control and that we could not kill him. So he got tunnel vision and became careless. That's why he did not see the danger coming. Just because you don't see the threat doesn't mean it's not there. Think about that next time you play and as often as you can, assess, predict and prepare. We all bleed the same sun